Okay, so in this video, we will consider simple examples of factoring a quadratic polynomial using not the quadratic formula, but instead factoring by inspection using the sum and product trick. Although it is possible to factor any quadratic polynomial using the quadratic formula, it is often best if you have a simple polynomial to factor, or at least attempt to factor by inspection, using the sum and product trick. If this fails, then you can fall back on the quadratic formula. Let's look at just four very simple examples. Suppose we have the following quadratic. x squared minus 5x plus 6. This is a quadratic, so if it does factor, and how we assume it does over the real numbers, it will be x plus or minus something times x plus or minus something. And the idea is if you expand, if you would write, say, plus alpha 1, plus alpha 2, and expand, you'd realize that the product of these two numbers must be the constant term, and the sum of these two numbers must be the multiple of x. So here we need two numbers whose product is positive 6 and whose sum is negative 5. Well, this is obviously negative 2 and negative 3. If you multiply both, you get positive 6, and if you add negative 2 with negative 3, you get negative 5. And you can, if you want, verify your factorization by multiplying out. x times x is x squared minus 3x minus 2x negative 2 times negative 3 positive 6, which of course gives us x squared minus 5x plus 6. So this is more efficient than the quadratic formula. So always try and factor by inspection. If you can't find these two numbers, then fall back on the quadratic formula. Let's look at another example, x squared plus 3x minus 40. Same thing, we'll try and factor by inspection. If this does factor, there will be two factors as it is a quadratic. Now we need two real numbers whose product is negative 40 and whose sum is positive 3. Well, you can think of 40 being 5 times 8, and 8 minus 5 is 3, so this would be x minus 5 times x plus 8. Negative 5 times 8 is negative 40, negative 5 plus 8 is positive 3. And we can check once again by multiplying out. We'll get x squared. Here I'll go a little faster. Plus 8x minus 5x gives us plus 3x. Minus 5 times 8 minus 40. Check. Let's look at one more example. x squared plus 11x plus 28. Once again, we'll try and factor by inspection using the sum and product trick. Now we need two real numbers whose product is 28, whose sum is 11. Think of factoring 28, thinking of a sum being 11, well 28 factors as 4 times 7, and 4 plus 7 is 11. So this should be plus 4 plus 7. Let's verify. x times x, x squared, plus 7x plus 4x is indeed 11x plus 4 times 7, plus 28. Check. Let's look at one more simple example. Here, the difference will have a negative x squared. Negative 5x, positive 6. The idea is, it's always easier to factor by inspection when you have 1 times x squared and not negative 1 times x squared. So we can quite simply factor a negative from the whole expression. So this would be the negative of positive x squared, positive 5x, negative 6. If you negate this, you get the initial polynomial. And now we're right back to an example like the previous three, a quadratic, where the multiple of x, is po x squared is positive 1. And so we try again to factor by inspection. The negative, of course, must be carried over, so x, x, 
And so now, we look for two real numbers whose product is negative 6 and whose sum is positive 5. Well, 6 minus 1 is 5, and 6 times minus 1 is negative 6, and so this will be x minus 1 times x plus 6. So x squared, check, plus 6x minus x is plus 5x, minus 1 times 6 minus 1, check. And this is how this polynomial factors. So always remember, if you have a negative x squared, pull out the negative from the whole expression, and then you're right back to a simple monic quadratic polynomial. If you try, and again, this is really the conclusion, always if you have to factor a quadratic polynomial, try and factor by inspection using the sum and product trick. If this fails or somehow you don't see it, then and only then you can fall back on the quadratic formula. That's it.